As we discussed before, software development efforts normally result in the delivery of a software product that satisfies the user requirements. So normally, our software development organization will release this application to its final users. However, once the software is in operation, many things can happen. So for example, the environment might change. There might be new libraries, there might be new operating systems in which our software has to operate. Or there may be feature requests. So the users might find out that, guess what, they might want to do something different with the problem that we gave them. Or again, and this is one of the most common occurrences, users might find problems with the software and may file bug reports and send the bug reports back to the software developer. These are the reasons why software maintenance is a necessary phase in software development. Software maintenance is the activity that sustains the software product as it evolves throughout its life cycle, specifically in response to bug reports, feature requests, and environment changes, development organizations perform three kinds of maintenance activities. Corrective maintenance, to eliminate problems with the code. Perfective maintenance, to accommodate feature requests. And in some cases, just to improve the software, for example, to make it more efficient. And finally, adaptive maintenance, to take care of environment changes. And after these activities have been performed, the software developer will produce a new version of the application, will release it, and the cycle will continue throughout the lifetime of the software. That's why maintenance is a fundamental activity and a very expensive one. And one of the reasons why maintenance is expensive that I want to mention now is uh, regression testing. During maintenance, every time you modify your application, you have to regression test the application. Where regression testing is the activity of retesting software after it has been modified to make sure that the changes you perform to the software work as expected and that your changes did not introduce any unforeseen effect. I'm pretty sure that you're familiar with the case of a new version of the software being released and just a couple of days later, another version being released to fix some problems that occur with the new version. These problems is what we call regression errors and they're what regression testing targets and tries to eliminate before the new version of the software is released into the world.